Welcome back to the shop, guys. Last week on the channel, we started a really cool project, a Minecraft axe for my little buddy Mason. This week, we're gonna finish it off and make it really kid ready. So stick around, I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and let's build something. Ta-da! As I start to finish this up, the only really steps that are left are just covering it with a couple layers of countertop epoxy to make it really strong. I'm going to take some packing tape and I'm going to line the back of the axe. That way as I pour the first layer on the top, it won't be able to fall down through and it'll stop. I'll make some painter spikes with some screws and draw an outline of the actual axe, cover that with paper, and then I'll get to start measuring out my epoxy. Remember with any epoxy, you always want to add the hardener first, then you add your resin on top of the hardener. This is standard across the board with, I would say, 99% of any two-part epoxy. I'll thoroughly mix that for about two minutes, and then I'll gently spread it throughout the top of the axe. If you like fun and creative videos like this, hit that subscribe button, do it, and do it now. Next, I'll use one of the really cheap foam brushes and I'll spread it all over the top, also working it down on the sides. Now remember we have that tape on the bottom. This is going to help with drips that drip off the bottom edge with the weight of the gravity of the whole thing. Then we're going to take our torch and we're going to run it across the top just to pop and pull up any air bubbles that were left in the epoxy. We'll go ahead and let that dry for 24 hours total, and then we'll move on to the second coat. Now, I want this thing to be super duper strong, so I'm gonna end up putting three coats on it, sanding it in between each coat and letting it dry for a full 24 hours. I really would like to hear your thoughts on this project, so leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you think of this. After it's dried and set up, I do have these high points. You can see them here in the reflection. So I'm going to take some 220 and I'm going to sand those down. And then I'm going to finish with a 320 hand sand for my final coat of epoxy. Once it's been completely sanded smooth, we'll go ahead and add our third and final coat. And I really couldn't be happier with the way this came out. It's like freaking glass. It's beautiful. Now that is forever fun. What a cool axe. It came out so awesome. I love the sheen on it. It's super durable. It's basically like a plastic toy with all that epoxy. So Mason, you're such a cool kid. I was so grateful to get to hang out with you. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you love this. I hope you love challengers. The younger kids, they need to know woodworking. They need to see the process. They're all going into tech. We need people to build stuff. So anytime you can inspire a young kid with a toy that you made for them, even if it was a little hard or complicated, it'll inspire them a lot. Now, if you look over my shoulder here, I have my subscriber count. It's a little counter that I made and we're getting up there. We're at 427 today. So if you're not subscribed, do it and do it now. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company and we built something. Ta-da!